Hey everybody, it's Harry from Step and Eddie Barbecue, the YouTube channel that teaches you how to master barbecue so you can spread barbecue love. I just got back from Houston a little while ago and I had a chance to try out the turkey legs at the Turkey Leg Hut restaurant owned by Nakia and Lynn Price. One of my YouTube subscribers took me there and I had the most amazing, best smoked turkey legs in America. It was completely falling off the bone. We had the turkey leg, we also had it in various combinations including an Alfredo turkey, crawfish turkey, macaroni and cheese turkey, a uh, kind of like a French cognac turkey. So I came back from that trip really missing that flavor of that melt in your mouth falling off the bone turkey leg. So I thought in this episode what I try to do is recreate my own version of smoked turkey legs drawing inspiration from Lynn and Nakia Price's restaurant Turkey Leg Hut in Houston. So we're going to take you guys through an episode with some turkey legs here and see if I can create a mouth-watering recipe that's falling off the bone. So that the turkey has great flavor, I'm going to do an overnight brine. I'm going to use some Worcester sauce and wet the uh, turkey so we can put the rub on. So and uh, once we get the uh, turkey wet, we're going to use some of my first place USA chicken rub. This one here. I'm going to apply it and then let it sit overnight and uh, get the flavor of the uh, rub into the turkey. Uh, this uh, rub has really been good to me and uh, I know a lot of you have been watching my channel and you've been buying and trying the rub. I got a lot of great feedback from everyone. Uh, some of you had mentioned that sometimes this rub tends to clump up if you are in a kind of a moist or humid uh, part of America. No problem, we'll just try to break it up with a fork before you apply it so that it doesn't clump up on you. And apply a nice medium coat of the chicken rub on it and the salt in the rub is going to be able to penetrate the meat and let it sit overnight this is called a dry brine versus a wet brine and uh, the way a dry brine works is the uh, salt will penetrate the uh, meat creating a very flavorful flavor to the meat the next day uh, we can go uh, overnight kind of on this. The, I use the Worcester to act as a schmear so that the rub will stick a little easier since the chicken is wet. So just get a nice even medium coat of rub on it all over and let it rest in the refrigerator for about 8 to 12 hours. Uh, overnight is best. Since the turkey is kind of big, it's got lots of room to absorb the flavor before we cook it on the smoker. And we'll do some special wrap technique. Uh, stay tuned for my special flavor pouch wrap so I can recreate the turkey inspired by the turkey leg hut. So here's the completed dry brine. We're gonna let it sit in the refrigerator overnight. Our Green Mountain Grill temperature is at 275. We can put our turkey legs in now. Okay, turkey legs are done. Nice crust on them. I'm gonna go to the wrap phase now. getting 
ready to wrap the uh, turkey legs so that we can cook it till it's falling off the bone tender. I have a few products here, brown sugar, parquet, a little bit of Worcestershire. I also have a little bit of sweet soy to give it kind of a molassy kind of flavor and a little bit of honey. We put a little bit of sweet soy, a little bit of Worcestershire, the parquet, brown sugar, Honey. Okay, moving on to the next one. Parquet followed by soy. And a molassi. These here. The Lee and Kerwins. Great combination of flavors between the uh, parquet, the soy, which is sweet, and then the umami flavor of the Lee and Kerwins. There you have it. We'll pop it in a 275 degree oven. They get nice and tender. Let's make the topping for our barbecue turkey legs. I'm gonna make a, like an Alfredo sauce, the, similar to the one that I enjoyed at a turkey leg hut in Houston. We've got some uh, butter, garlic, whipping cream, Parmesan cheese, and I got some crawfish and some shrimp, some parsley, and some seasoning like a nutmeg to make sure that it tastes really, really good. Alfredo, rich and creamy. We're gonna start the process by heating up the butter. Or if I have a stick, would work. And a pinch of garlic. I wanna make sure that the garlic does not burn once it starts foaming up. And some whipping cream, 16, 16 ounces. Once the butter, garlic, and cream comes up to a simmer, go ahead and add some cheese. Kind of just enough to get it to the consistency you like. Start with about a quarter cup. Make sure the heat is a, like a gentle low heat. So it thickens up right away. You can make it as thick as or as thin as you like. We can season it some uh, salt, pepper. You add a little bit of nutmeg on it. It's a pinch. Gives a wonderful floral floral fragrance. Right, let's do a taste test. Wait, is that a crawfish? Six ounces of shrimp. You like shrimp like me? Just add a whole bag. So 12, Twelve ounces of shrimp. All right, bring it to a simmer. It's very important that when you cook shrimp and crawfish, you just heat it up under low heat. And then you want to get to the point where the shrimp has just been cooked and the crawfish has been reheated to a safe temperature. You really don't want to kind of boil it, overcook it, and then cause the shrimp to get rock hard and then the crawfish to stiffen up. So once it's about ready, you want to apply final seasonings. Give it a taste test. It's a bit of pepper. I like the peppery. Salt level is about right. Just a tad more nutmeg. And a little bit more cheese to get the right consistency. So you can go by feel as to how much cheese you need. All right, put all the cheese in there. All right, we're done. We're ready to plate the turkey legs. I actually transferred it from the foil pouches, individual ones, into a foil pan because uh, that way I think it cooks a lot better. I put a little bit of a uh, chicken stock in there also just to get the level up here so that we can sit the entire turkey leg to make it super duper falling off the bone tender. Fish and shrimp, Alfredo.
Hello. There you have it. Here's a completed dish. Smoked barbecue turkey legs with a Alfredo shrimp sauce on top. Homage to Turkey Leg Hut in Houston, where I really enjoyed, I think, the best uh, barbecue turkey legs in America. This is my own little rendition to recreate some of the wonderful flavors I enjoyed in Houston. So hopefully the, this looks like a pretty dish. You can replicate at home, not too hard. So now for the tasting of this wonderful concoction. And then Mr. Beans is already waiting patiently to try his taste of the food. All right, let's give this a taste test here. Super falling off the bone. It's moist and soft, look at that. So the shrimp, Some the Alfredo sauce on it. Super tender. All right, let's give it a shot here. Well, the turkey is really good, very moist. Just a hint of sweetness. I can taste the smokiness from the GMG. Let's try it with the uh, crawfish now. Piece of crawfish, piece of shrimp, piece of turkey. Wow, this is so good. I'm gonna have another bite. So turkey is kind of melt in your mouth tender. So the uh, cooking the turkey in the foil pan with a little bit of chicken stock really helped to tenderize the turkey. Um, it wasn't so tender when I did it the conventional way with the kind of rib style wrap, but with a little, little bit more liquid, poaching it for a few more hours. Uh, I lost track of a number of hours, but I just let it cook like a slow cooker until the turkey is falling off the bone. It's super moist, super tender, super soft. Mr. Beans is jumping on me, just uh, he wants to have his share. Uh, after I finish tasting it, I will be sure to share some of this beautiful turkey and uh, crawfish and shrimp Alfredo with Mr. Beans. You have another bite here. So good. Mmm, good. There's something really magical about just having shrimp and crawfish and the turkey. So it's kind of like a, like a sea and uh, air, right? So, you know, I guess a turkey doesn't fly, but you get the idea. Okay, let's uh, now give Mr. Beans a try and see if he likes it. Okay, go ahead. All right. Turkey leg heart inspired smoked turkey legs with Alfredo crab. Crawfish and a shrimp. Mm, he really likes it. There you go, Beans. Was it good? Thumbs up. <laughs> there you have it. Smoked turkey legs with a uh, Alfredo crawfish and shrimp dish. Hope you guys like this video. If you like it, let me know in the comments below. If you have any questions, just go ahead and ask. I'll try to answer. When you have a chance, please go to the Turkey Lake Hut restaurant in Houston to enjoy um, Nikita and Lynn's turkey. Uh, I think theirs is better than mine. Uh, I, I think that uh, their turkey legs are so much bigger. I think they use Tom turkeys, which is a 50 pound male turkey. And you can only buy that if you have a special, I guess, a supplier. I just bought mine from a store. These are from the hen turkeys, which are the female turkeys. They only grow up to about 22 to 25 pounds. So it's a lot smaller than uh, the one I ate in Houston. But nevertheless, you know, got the same kind of result. Super duper tasty and moist turkey. So until the next episode, we shall see you guys. Uh, please like, subscribe and share and tell your friends about my channel. <music>